it's really adorable. The thing with her outfit was this was just so dated for me. Wow, that's winning. The group just feels so much smaller. Yeah. But it's getting scarier because now it's like just the us. Competition's on, yeah, for sure. Are you nervous about what? they're gonna make. I'm more excited about it. The opportunity for someone to design something specifically for me is something I've never had before. So oh, wow. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Morning, designers. Morning. Hello. Can I ask you all to gather around for me, please? Okay, so really exciting challenge today. We are joined by the lovely Katie B. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So very exciting challenge this week, guys, because it is a huge global event. The challenge this week is to design an outfit for Katie to wear for the showcase and launch of the Coca-Cola Olympics 2012 single with Mark Ronson. Mm. Katie needs something that she can wear throughout interviews in the day and then can be adapted or embellished for the evening performance as well. So remember that she likes to be comfortable on stage, but obviously this is a massive, massive event, so just, you know, spruce it up a little bit. I like to move a lot, like crouch down <laughs> and like run around, so I don't really like wearing ridiculously high heels or, you know, something like a corset where my boob might pop out or something. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I like it when something catches the light or is quite sparkly. What about skin showing, like midriff or a bit of cleavage? Is there like no-no areas? Yeah, I guess if I'm putting my hands up in the air when when I wear short tops, there's just too much on show. So maybe keep that in mind as well, yeah. I want to give you the kind of space to be creative and I like surprises, but at the same time, just, yeah, I guess keep it in mind that I am quite a chilled out kind of girl as well. It's like she's excited to see what you can do, but just get it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be a massive challenge because she was so open about everything and she's like, oh yeah, I'm open to that and I'm open to that and I wear that and probably wear that, but I do this, but I don't want to do it too much. It's like a blessing and a curse at the same time. Okay, so this week for this challenge, you have a budget of £250 and you have just three days to complete the outfit. So designers, if I can ask you all to return to your workstations and Katie's going to come round and have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you. Hi. Nice. Katie, this is Heidi, our resident nut job. <laughs> I, I mean that in such a nice way, Heidi. I am the object of ridicule in this place. You are not the object Thanks of ridicule. Name. We love you. But Dude. just get ready. <laughs> not because I'm wearing it today, but I really wanted to put you in a long skirt that's high on the waist and then like a bigger top. I want it to be like a vestier top, like a sheer skirt, but, um, like a darker skirt underneath. So you can see leg, but you can still move. I don't know how it's going to go because it's sheer. And if you're oh. proud of <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at selling myself. I'm quite like dappy and I'm like la 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 and I can't articulate myself in any sensible, rational fashion. 
Paige, this is Chanel. Oh, nice Good. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> what I have been thinking about for you is maybe like maybe a jumpsuit. I love a little bit of sequin, a little bit of colour. Um, just making your pop. This week's challenge, Katie B. I'm very excited. I am clear on the brief and I feel back on the ball. I need black fabric. Have I got, did I get black fabric? I don't even know where my money is. I'm really stressed right now and I can't make a decision. Oh. Is this mine? Is that mine? Oh no, that's mine. Literally not enough hours in the day. Yeah, that's too orange. Just like more like a proper thick blood. I actually saw a difference in Chanel today. More confident. Yeah, yeah and like when she was asking Katie about like the brief and stuff. She gets this brief, I think. She's excited by it. It's her kind of thing. It's like it's the most closely intertwined to her kind of music. So I've set up a little surprise for our designers tomorrow night. I'm gonna get them over to East London and introduce them to some industry people. So like some buyers, some press, and a few other designers down to come and meet them. And they're gonna have some of their work will be there as well, so they get an opportunity to kind of showcase a little bit. Ooh. Hi, Nicola. Oh, this looks like a very luxurious gold. Let me um, see your actual design. Sure. It's basically a few a few different layers. Um, I want it to be really comfortable, so I'm nice. doing like a silk jersey body. You like this fabric, this neoprene? How yeah, many times yeah. have you used it before? I've used it twice, yeah. Neoprene keeps popping up a lot mm. throughout the different designers, and yeah. it's like, don't quite understand why. I guess because it's pretty on trend at the moment, people, it's, you know, it, it gives really good shapes, people, right. it's just easy to use. Hello, lovely. Hello, you right? Yes, how are you getting on? Not too bad, I'm happy now. I've got my colours and I'm happy with what I'm doing now. Neoprene. Yes. Mm. Can I just get everyone to sort of come over here for a sec, just to come around Megan's desk. OK, so one thing I've noticed since I've been walking around is that this same fabric, neoprene, keeps coming up all the time. It's like every week. I just feel like you guys are really good and it's really uninspiring to keep coming back and seeing the same fabrics again. Everybody needs to just start thinking outside of the box a little bit more. Like Steve, neoprene, the tonal colours again. But we know what you can do now and we really are looking at you to see where else you can go. I just didn't agree with the point about neoprene. She feels that me and my, Megan in particular are falling back on neoprene as a safe fabric to use because we're familiar with it. This challenge was to be who we are as designers, and that's who I am as a designer. Neoprene does crop up a lot. Like Steve has used it in the past three challenges, and this is the fourth one, so you've got to do everything you can to stay in the competition. If they don't want to see neoprene, you can't use it. You're not supposed to be the sheep. You're supposed to be the leader. And if everybody else is doing something that you're doing, you're just one of the sheep. For her to sit there and call me a sheep, I was miffed. I was like, excuse me, like, you you haven't seen half of my designs. You don't know what I can do with it. Oh, I can't even talk about it. I'm so angry about it. Katie's challenge, like, the whole world is looking at what she's wearing at this event. It's a massive deal. It's a massive deal for you guys, and it is a massive deal for her. Like, just, you know, work with her on that step up to the challenge. That's just something for you to all really think about. I'll see you later. Nice. I think it made a lot of people freak out because for some people, that's kind of like their signature fabric they use in all of their work. So what are they going to do? They're going to have to change their entire aesthetic. 
There's nothing I can do. I don't have any other fabrics and I've got no other money. You know what? You've just got to push the design as much as possible, that, so much that it doesn't matter what you've used. Everybody's getting a bit complacent. So the judges are bored. Well, they're not bored with me. They haven't taken the fabric off you. They're just saying... No, but they're like, don't use it, basically. And all I bought was neoprene and a bit of silk. Uh... Oops. Time is against me, the brief is now against me, I've got no money left. You know, I'll just have to do what I can with what I have. Neoprene flipping gate, who actually even cares? To be honest with you, I didn't know about no neoprene until I came here. Who actually cares? Do you care? Do you actually care about it? I don't care. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want a neoprene ya. Dodgy. You are hot, aren't you? I'm freezing, babe. Yeah. I'm not taking my coat off. I've got no strength, no energy. My glands feel like golf balls in my throat. This challenge is going to be tough. Okay. I don't understand it. They sleep in the same bed, they're always together. If you put bed together, make it as a double bed together, I mean, come on. Nicola came over, you know, to talk about my work and stuff. <clears throat> but it didn't... <laughs> it didn't quite go that way. <laughs> there is no truth in me and Ralph, um, in all seriousness. Me and Ralph are not having a relationship. Me and Ralph are not having sex. We are not anything other than very close friends. No, it's just like everyone is just going around with all their like fucking fairy tales. I hate that. And it's so not accurate. We're not blind. Like, really. Ray Charles could see what was going on with them too. You and I both know the truth. Mm. And they don't. And that's it. And that's all there, there is. There you go. Their denial is quite funny because it's just bullshit. I've got together a select group of fashion industry experts and it's essential that our designers really sell themselves and conduct themselves appropriately because these people can genuinely make or break them in the fashion world. Hi. Hi, I'm on deadline. You can't talk for at least three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just wanted to talk to you about a bit about the guys that have been down there bringing along an example of one of their outfits that they've made so far in the show. Yeah. Basically, it's us sort of getting them out into the real world to meet some real life industry people. So it's a real mixture of buyers, press, designers. Um, okay, fine. Should be quite interesting. So how are you feeling about tonight? It's going to be really interesting to see who's going to be there. Because I think networking is really, really important. Like, so mm. my, my, whole, my whole game is just kind of like go out there, say hello, speak to everybody. Are you drink? I'm drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking. I need a little Dutch courage to speak to people. I'm like, mmm, hello. <laughs> My thing is I don't know when to start. Oh, is it? Mm. Well, I definitely think we should enjoy ourselves. Uh, basically, Ooh. take note that this is uh, an opportunity that Henry has given us and don't actually take the piss. That's all. All we want is just to show our work that, and then actually people from the industry notice us. I'm not really looking forward to it because I'm sick. So it's not going to be really great going to meet buyers and press and coughing in their face. So as glad as I am, I'm, I really just want to go to bed. How's it going? It's OK. I'm just going to panel everything and just put neoprene where the crystals are, which is okay. a lot more work. But like, yep. it's the only way I can get around it, really. If they don't want to see neoprene, then I'll just have to cut it out as much as possible. He's very worried, and it's showing. There may be a chance that Steve might be in the bottom, too. Hi. 
Hi. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. And he's going to have his eye on us, seeing how we perform. So uh, the main aim is to not get too horrendously drunk, because that will be embarrassing. I'm putting my neck on the line for the designers tonight. These are people that I work with day in, day out. And I really hope that they appreciate that and they understand that this isn't a party, it's work. What event are you going to in this year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, yeah. you didn't. Oh. Where's, where, did you leave peace in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> it's not got knocked up earlier. Well, I've got loads of love for Chanel. Like, that's my girl. But I had to ask her, I was like, did you leave the rest of your dress in the sewing room? Like, did you not finish that? Like, where, where is it? I know that we're going to be meeting, like, um, like some important people. And uh, I was just thinking, like... Make an impression. Well, yeah. It's not, it's not too revealing. To be honest with you, I could wear a bra, but it defeats the whole, that purpose, yeah. you know? And I can't be fashioned. She looks like a streetwalker. I think it was so inappropriate to wear that dress to that event. I could see her tit. A large part of this industry isn't what you know, it's who you know. And the event tonight is a chance for these designers to really sell themselves to some of London's most influential industry experts. For me, this feels really modern. Yeah, mm. yeah I like that too. This is actually the chance that I'm going to meet people from the industry, you know, the designers, journalists, people from magazine. It's actually happening. I didn't realise that it's going to happen so fast. Hi, guys. So everyone, these are our lovely, talented designers. Hey! Mingle, sell yourselves, go for it. Hello, everybody. Hey. It was kind of like meat and animals because there were more of us and there was a them and everyone wanted to talk to someone, like no one wanted to be standing there by themselves. So I have some channels in her leggings that go with the type of colour theme, like the Heidi, hyper Heidi. Hyper, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, She's chatting. It's almost like you need to give yeah. someone a warning. It's like, guys, are you prepared? Okay, and me. She kept Heidi. saying, Am I talking too much? Yeah, yeah. A bit it's... like, oh, oh, we, were, we were polite, we were polite. Yeah. And then I made her jump at her vest that all go over like baggy because she feels comfortable. You notice that people are trying to cut in and it's, it was a little bit doggy dog. Yeah, people like stepping in, stepping out, stepping in. And it got, it's, that was a little bit awkward. People were definitely on their A game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Steve. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I was talking to these people and Steve came over to me and um, he kind of pulled the people away. That kind of pissed me off a little bit. Why do you take bricks over? Hello, Megan. Hello, Megan. Nice to meet you. Oh, some of the designers, they pushed in front of you. And next thing you know, that they're by their own mannequin talking about their own design. So I've got a partner. Can I mingle? Can I mingle? Hi, um, Jacqueline, yeah. nice to meet you. What do you think then? I always think that's Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Oh, please, please. Can I show you? Oh, you can always have manners. I was talking to someone and Jacqueline literally guided the person over to her clothes. I'm mid-conversation here. Like, that's just rude. It's a competition, like, you know, we're, we're friends, but, you know, Dog eat dog world, really. This is war, like serious, full on war. This is actually the paper. Uh, designer Parker and then a cuckoo. I like the guy who's wearing the bright colours. I liked his work and his approach. Yeah. He was really interesting. We really like the way he approaches briefs and sort of interprets them. I'll show Hello. you a surprise. Oh, um, oh my god, that's fantastic. That's I, like Comte de Gasson. I know exactly. It is. It is exactly. It's like, Comte de Gasson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Jesus, that's um, really good. What do you think? I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I think there's some really great things in there and lots of promise and skill. I really was impressed with Ralph. Yeah, I love Ralph. The jacket yeah. was fab, yeah. and it, on the back it had these beautiful like roses, like really cobbling us yeah. on the back, and I was like, how did you do that? Just 
too tired. I just don't have the energy to, to socialise today. Like, I couldn't even sell a cracker to a starving person right now, let alone sell myself to industry. Like, it's, oh, it's killing me. I'm not making excuses, but I am sick. And, like, my charm and stuff isn't shining through. I know that Ben, he was feeling ill, but I think when you're dealing with such a high profile event, you need to stick at it, you snooze, you lose. This opportunity is one time only. So what do you do? So the mother of twins. Chanel. Lovely. Yeah. But in that environment, they need to remember that these are contacts that they need for, yeah. you know, sales She's just or press. Excited, I feel really sexy. I'm 28. I'm the oldest one here. I've already got twins. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh. you've got somebody like Chanel, who's obviously so passionate. Mm. I think best one in the world. All the other attributes like energy, passion, and all those sort of I... things don't necessarily make you a good designer. Mm. No. At the end of the day, they don't. I'm very, very privileged to be amongst you guys, and I'm very happy to still be You're here. You're drunk. I'm like, no, I'm not. You're I'm, not. Really, I'm, really, I'm being really serious. I'm like, yeah. 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 we did it, we did it. We're sexy, we're sexy. We are designers, designers. We are sexy, we're sexy. Listen, so we, we should go to a bar. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know if they'll be happy. <laughs> I'm hopeful, you know. I'm hopeful that she'll like it. She can do that move. She can do that move. She can do that move. That move. <laughs> <laughs> in that room, darling, I'm fighting to the bit of death. You do yeah. realise that. Trust me, girl. <laughs> We're looking for creativity, we're looking for passion, but most of all, I think we're looking for someone who's really stuck to the brief set by the individual client. I just want to show them something new, something fresh, something different, and I just hope they get it. excited about what we're going to see? I'm so excited. It's like getting nine birthday presents. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's start your birthday. I think she's kind of, she caught my vibe, definitely. I think that the literal colour palette actually works quite well here. I even love this kind of, like, gladiator vibe that it has. I love this. Kate, if you don't want it, I am. I, <laughs> I was just about to say, I was like, my sweatshirt. I was like, there's Nicola. <laughs> Very simple, but the same way. It's quite effortless. I like the way it kind of looks like it just flows, like it's moving. I don't know if I was wearing it, if I would feel a bit too relaxed. <laughs> I really love the, the fabric and the zip is wicked. It's like a real statement. I'm happy that I can't see any neoprene. So quite a departure with that outfit. I really don't see the brief in any of that, do you? I don't think I've ever seen you in anything so glam, glam, glam. It doesn't say... Um, Olympic song launch to me. Does it no. say KTB? I feel like Ricky thinks that you're entering the Olympics rather than <laughs> launching the song. 
think when they take their brief so literal, it's just not cool. I'm getting like space vibes from yeah. it though. It's like ABBA meets Cool Runnings. <laughs> I think this outfit looks the most professional that we've seen today, as a look. I really like the jacket. I like how he's managed to get the crystal embellishment on the collar. It looks like she's naked underneath, but she's not, so it's kind of, like, quite sexy as mm. well. Thank you so yeah, much. Oh. With Steve, I feel like I've seen these colours, these shapes, these embellishments before. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm happy with what I've done, so I can't complain. Look at your little face as it is. I think I would look really strange in that. I'm not sure what to say about this outfit. I love the color combinations. I yeah, love the orange and pink together beautiful. is always like one of my favorite things. Yeah, love it. He's just thrown in. Everything. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Please um, uh, break down your outfit. Um, this KTB is uh, what I would um, basically send you out for the press. Is that a stretch satin yep. on the trouser? OK. Stretch satin pants and um, with the sequin waist, um, waistband. And for the stage, so that's my vision anyway. That was my vision. Yeah, that's cool, because I was a bit worried if they weren't stretchy, no, no, like, no, no, they're no, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'd are, have a bit yeah, of an embarrassing yeah. epic fail on stage. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Chanel. If you'd like to take your model backstage, we'll okay, no worries, thank, you. thank you. It's nice to have sparkles and sequins, but I think it was just too much. It was just... Overkill. It, yeah, overkill. That kind of streetwear vibe that you and your music kind of represent, I didn't see that in, like, in that at all. I think she's really missed the mark. I think it went well, but they didn't say much. Wow, fair enough. <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. Hello. Hi. Do you want to talk us through your outfit? I'm really happy with the final concept. This is daytime. And then for the performance, you could take off the jacket. You've got a, this T-shirt, and then there's crystals under it. The T-shirt has a zip sticking to the like athletic lines um, to tie in with the whole concept of the, of the of the event, really. Yeah, and on stage, I can definitely. It won't have any limitations. No, you could go crazy because it's, it's a full body, so it's like it's totally easy. Even though you had the nightmare week, I feel like you've really managed to turn it around. It was off the mark a little bit in the challenge. We feel so. There's no worry in my mind whatsoever that I couldn't wear that on stage. I think that is a thing that designers tend to... Um... Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi, Katie. Hey. My inspiration for the look was the Olympics and gold medals. If you're going to be out on stage seen by a lot of people, I really want you to have a real pop. So this would be your interview wear. Like the look, and this would be the stage outfit. Any thoughts, guys? What are you thinking? I don't know if the jacket with everything else is just a little bit too much. For Katie, it becomes a little too... Harlequin would be the word I would even look for. When you brought that jacket out, I was like, oh, wicked. But with all the different colours going on, it's just something that would definitely kind of scare me, almost. OK. Thanks for that, guys. All right, thank you very See much, Ben. See you later, thank you. I don't think Ben's been very well this week. I feel like the illness hasn't impeded his work unless it's just made him go crazy. It's a bit carnival. Yeah, it was mixed reviews. <laughs> I love it, like, and I'll stand yeah, I by it. Like I love that outfit. Dying dying day, you know? I love it. Right, so. Hi. Hi. Are you happy with your outfit this week? I'm really happy. So I wanted something that's going to be really summery. I'm really excited by the fabrics that you've used. There's no neoprene. No. <laughs> the queen of neoprene, the queen of bodycon, and the queen of sequins has achieved something without any of it, yeah. and it's really good. Thank you. I love the colours, especially, yeah, the pastel, because it's quite soft and yeah. spring, and, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, 
How are you guys? How's it going? Good. Do you want me to show you how it yeah. yeah. Okay, Please. so this is the little sports jacket. It does up at the back of the jacket. And then have the braces up. I definitely took a sports influence with this look. And a stretch in it as well, so there's no danger of you having an accident. <laughs> I think this is a stage outfit alone. I think somehow the press day, that got lost. So this is something that would go directly to stage. It's very costumey, it's super strong, it's very literal. Hey, thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. Dale's trousers were just far too Eurovision. Hello. How do you go? Mm, I don't know. Um, they said it was like too sporty, like I went too sports. First of all, thank you so much. You're so talented. So, we've been speaking to Katie, and overall, she's really happy with everybody's work. She has picked a winner, so we'll send it over to you, Katie. Okay? I really like the way this outfit was really comfortable for running around on stage in, but was still glamorous. And that outfit is... <laughs> okay, guys, and now for the not so nice bit. There's a couple of people we'd like to speak to back at the studio. Ben. The outfit that you showed us today was just so far away from the brief and so far removed from Katie and what she's about that we're going to have to ask to speak to you back at the cool. studio. OK. Also, Chanel, we're going to ask to speak to you. It was, again, sort of in that same path of not really on the brief, a little bit too far in the wrong direction for what Katie B was asking for. OK, so Ben and Chanel, we'd like to see you both back at the studio. Hello. Hi. Hi. OK, guys, um, I'm going to start with asking why you think you're in here today? Being sick this week, I felt to myself, seeing as you're lacking on the energy, you need to really pump it up with the creativity. And I thought, OK, if you've just got to push through it and give them something that's going to wow. And I think I tried to impress a bit too much. So, to... so you see that by, by uh, doing that, you kind of went way past the yeah, brief. But I stand by my design. I think it. It caters to my aesthetic and it caters to stage wear, but not totally to Katie. And I think that's that was my downfall. That's the real problem. Because that was my downfall. You've said it yourself. You said it caters to your aesthetic, which was the first thing that you said. When really it needs to be reversed. It needs to be. I think the outfit caters for Katie. It fits in with her look. It fits in with the music. It fits in with the vibe. I think it's stage wear, and I think it caters to my aesthetic. It needs to flip. And Chanel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that question to you also. This particular um, brief, I really, I, I really did try to channel her, and I really did think that I kind of embodied her, um, and I didn't take her too far away from her comfort zone. I've seen Katie in sequins before, and because she did say sparkle, I interpreted sparkle as sequins, which maybe I, in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have done so literally. You said like you really feel like you got into her music uh, and you got into her. Maybe mm. you got into her music, but you didn't necessarily understand the stance that she brings and the core of who she is. Yeah. Like, it's so much more solid. It's so much more street than like the sequins and the satin. It's just completely through. I think everybody. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened at the event? Um, Give me your, your feedback on it. Oh, um, it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. 
think um, for us, some of the feedback that we got at certain points, you got a little bit overexcited, maybe. Maybe a little bit too loud. It kind of could have been a bit more focused. Not so much on a personal level, but it's, you know, it's a very professional situation, even though you're at a cocktail party. Yeah. But you're still doing business. For me, when I go to things like that, I don't drink, I don't oh, do I anything, did... I'm working. Definitely defending myself in that, is that while I was speaking with everybody, I never, I never drank while I, until everybody had finished, I never, I never did that. Ben, you went home before the end of the event. I don't want to play the sick card, like, oh, I was sick, but it got to a point where I was just, dizzy and lightheaded, and I wasn't representing myself justly. It wasn't the best me I could have presented at that time. It's just that, like, that was such a massive opportunity to be in the room with, with those people, you know, the different buyers, the different journalists, or the designers. You know, people don't really get that opportunity all the time, so Henry sort of handed it to you on a platter. It when just... I found out that there was a party like that going on and I wasn't here, I got upset. Yeah. Just as an example, I've only recently sold my clothes in Selfridges and I've been working on those buyers to get my clothes in Selfridges for five, six years. So I brought them to your first ever showcase. It is frustrating for us. That is that is the point, really. Ben, why do you think you should stay here? I'm a good designer, I've got talent. And I remember in my first, um, my audition with Rihanna, she said to me, you need to work on Silhouette. She thinks I have fun with fashion. And I think I've done that. I've pushed the boundaries for me. With, especially with this challenge. And I think that shows a lot of fight and a lot of passion within me to try and bring more to the table when physically my body just didn't want to. And I feel like I've sacrificed a lot. I've actually just left uni to, be, to take this opportunity because I know how big it is. And graduating for me, for my parents as well as for me, is a big thing. It's like the first one to go to uni. So it's a big sacrifice that I've, I've made. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't, don't worry. My mum's so proud of me, but it's breaking her heart to know that I'm, yeah. Okay. I should still be here because not only am I progressing and I know that you guys have seen that, but then I also see me being here as a collaborative effort between all four of us. I wouldn't be here if I didn't actually see that I had, if I had a, a, a deep passion for it. I feel so angry with myself right now for even being here, because I really, I, honestly, I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Even some of the other designers are, oh yeah, that's your best work. And then uh, how are you going to tell me that's my best work and I'm here? I feel annoyed. I feel so annoyed with it. I think it's a surprising bottom two for me. I think if you'd have told me last week that Ben would be in the bottom two... You wouldn't have believed it? No. No. That outfit was just so far off brief, and her words were, it freaked her out. Shockingly off the brief. Mm -hmm. And then with Chanel, I just... You know, we kept her in that same week with Brat, and I just don't know if she's capable of giving us anything more. I, I mean, I have to be honest, I'm a little surprised she's here too. You would think that would make her try that much harder, be that more committed, that more focused. But maybe what we saw today is her trying as hard as she can. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I think this week you're both in here because we just felt that your outfits didn't fit the brief. They didn't fit into what the client wanted and they just weren't good enough in relation to the other outfits that were produced by the other designers. Um, however, Chanel, I'm really sorry. I think when you were in here a few weeks ago, we saw something in you and we felt that you had more to learn from this. But as much as we feel your passion and as much as we feel your raw talent, I just think that the other pieces that are being produced are a step above and this is the end of your experience. Southeast. Okay. Oh, It was really sad that, you know, Chanel left. 
but you know, I'm not gonna lie, she was she was weak with her designs. Chanel is cool and stuff, but I was definitely rooting for Ben to come back just because I would miss him a lot. Use this as food. Food for fun. So, definitely. Definitely. We kind of developed this today. Thank you.